Hello, folks, and welcome back to Troubleshooter, Abandoned Children. Uh, Albus and Gazelle are theoretically still working. Anne has come back for her phone. What could possibly go wrong? Hopefully not a tryst. Albus and Gazelle don't seem like they're very compatible at all, but we'll see. I think the overall situation is like this. Okay, they've got some Spoonus crossed out. Well, they've got some known people. Yeah, there's Carter and Letton. Letton's the ice guy who's probably going to join us sooner or later. And then they've got a bunch of White Tiger Gang over on the right side. Over on the far left, I don't know who that is. They don't exactly have a clear shot of him either. And they're still missing the, uh, the rich girl and her sword-wielding bodyguard. Don't see them on here at all. You think the angry bull gang is wiped out? Yeah, but their boss Scott and one of their leaders, Jason, are still missing. Kahong, the leader who led the rest of the gang members, and Hassan were found dead at Skywing Park. The remaining members all became members part of the Spoonists, so it can be said the angry bull gang has no more organizational activities. What about the Spoonists? The Spoonists are quiet these days. It's quite likely they moved into the deeper part of the Iron Forest after winter came. I'm sure of it, since they used the old railroad from the Iron Forest during the last case. How many more Bicrons do you think they possess? Well, I told you not to be careless about identifying enemy forces. I'm sorry, but I have no idea how to identify the enemy forces in this case. Okay, if Gazelle, Gazelle, Gazelle if you know the answer, just fucking tell him. Like, why is she being such a cagey? She's being so freaking cagey. Watch her be involved with the White Tiger this whole time. That'd be hilarious. How's the resource management district stabilization? It's stabilized for now. Don't worry about incidents in the Iron Forest for a while. Just let those troubleshooters who want to make some money deal with them. We should hunt down the guys in the city. I see. After Gazelle joined the team, Albus asked Gazelle for advice about the current situation whenever he had the chance. Well, it makes sense. I mean, she has plenty of experience. And Albus could learn more about gangs like Vendetta and Nine Dragon, which he couldn't have known otherwise if it wasn't for Gazelle. You don't have to worry about Ryo of Nine Dragon Gang. He was expendable to them. But the members of Vendetta are different. If they had tried to hunt you guys down, then things would have been much more complicated. Perhaps you guys wouldn't have made it this far in the first place. Albus was very surprised when he found out that Luna was one of the main criminals on the list of the Windwall District Gazelle had handed to him when she joined the team. Luna? Isn't she like 14? She's a major criminal? Assassin child of the Vendetta organization. A child raised for assassination and murder. Okay, answers that question. I can't forgive them for making a little girl do these kinds of crimes. That mindset may get you killed the next time. No, it's just... According to your report, that kid murdered a number of adults by herself. Well, but they were trying to kill Albus, so... Or they nearly did, actually. Do you know what troubleshooters and crime organizations have in common? Huh? Why are you asking that? No matter how they say it, both groups regard making profits as their main objective. As long as members and a lot of operation expenses exist, the group cannot survive unless they get some kind of profit. Eventually, as the group becomes larger, be it a troubleshooter or a criminal organization, all decisions made by the group must consider how to balance efficiency in the short run with stability in the long run. It's worth mentioning that the assassin child system was born from these considerations. I don't want to justify the fact that a child is just being used as a tool for crime. I was not criticizing your sympathy and pity for that child. I would have a hard time if I had to snipe that cute little girl too. But the fact is that the sympathy and pity we feel for the girl was a part of their calculation deciding to make an assassin child. And when considering other factors like long run utilization, the danger in controlling the child, and the cost of getting rid of the kid, the only drawback to using a child is a lower physical combat skills Lack of field experience and mental instability, which is why you don't usually, you know, use a child in a battle situation, but sure. Assassin Child is an assassin nurturing program that makes up for those weak points with, while fully utilizing the benefits. So cruel. I wouldn't say anything about your thoughts if you were just an ordinary person. However, you should keep in mind those thoughts of yours can put your teammates in danger. Now then, let's go over the next topic. And this is what Anne walks into? Yep, there she is. And unintentionally heard the conversation between Albus and Gazelle. I mean, you're not an assassin child, Anne, so you don't need to worry about that. 
Oh, but she likes she likes Luna though. She had already anticipated this happening, but Anne couldn't stop her eyes from welling with tears. And you can't cry, Abbas will notice. We can cry silently. Anne scolded herself to suppress the feelings that filled her heart, but she had to lean up against the office wall for a long time. The first time she met Luna, Luna couldn't do anything, even when she was being bullied. It was her weakness that made that girl commit such crimes. Luna, I'll protect you next time. Oh, we're totally meeting Luna in, like, the next mission or two, aren't we? We've been getting bits and pieces here and there, but... Okay, activity report arrived. Hey, 100% safety! Yeah! At least until the next report. Still pretty good. Alright, cool. Well, we got paid bank here. Okay, and they gave us a Cyrus jacket, which is... it's okay. We'll look and see if we can improve the jacket on anybody, but I think this is probably... Well, it's unidentified, too. We need to identify it first. Okay, let's go to the... Oh, okay. That's right. Sign gets paid. Alright, give a bonus like we usually do. Great, so motivation goes up, which is great, because he was knocked out last mission, so this will be good for him. Rain's paid is improving. Okay, so let's identify this first. Not too much here. Look at that. 20,000 vil. We're doing great. We're doing great. I was worried about that sword last time. Didn't need to be worried at all. We're gold. Check the roster. So let's see what you have here. The Starlight Scout right now. Okay, that armor's a little better. Let's actually put it on Scion. I think Scion's... Scion did not do well last mission, let's just say. Let's get him a better jacket. Maybe that'll help. Uh, that's not much better armor, but the other bonuses are better. So yeah, we'll do that. There you go. Oh, is that a better jacket for Albus? Slightly more armor... Block chance goes up, slashing resistance goes up, piercing resistance goes down, so that's shooting, basically. So he will get shot more, but blunt resistance goes up. Yeah, okay. Slightly better. Okay, why not? We'll try it. Alright. Uh, we did get new shoes. Eh, they're not good. Alright, never mind. That's right. Sign put on the new shoes. I'm going to need to worry about that right now. Uh, TP would be great. Do you have anything good here we want to use? Bruise, which is okay-ish. We already have Roaring and Screaming Blaze. Iron Wall. Oh, you can turn into full cover? Interesting. Usually we have to wait for Guardians to do that, but... Huh. Irene as an Iron Wall. It's a neat idea. I don't know if it's that terribly useful, but it's a neat idea. We could try it. Uh, we need to get one more TP. Uh, so let's get rid of... I don't like immune to fire. Okay, let, let's get rid of tactical reform. Because she's usually the first one to hit anyway, so this isn't really doing much benefit to her. And let's get Iron Wall for 3 TP. Ability, why can't I do it? Oh, it exceeds the limit. Right, because it's 9 out of 10. Oh, damn. Uh, shoot. Like, Lottery's already increasing everything by 1, right? Yeah. We don't even want to get rid of Lottery, because I would decrease this down to 9. We get rid of a million years of training... I don't know, just improves all of her abilities, though. I don't want to get rid of that. Shoot. No, we can't do Iron Wall. We'd have to get rid of something I really like to do it. That's not That's not going to happen. Well, shoot. Okay, just look at available only for everything here. Let's see if we get something better. Clean hit. 
It's okay. It's not great. Uh, Eternal Flame. RSP up a little bit. Flame Crash. They're debuffed by fire. You do more damage to them. Okay. All right. Material Collector. Posture Breakdown. That's eh, okay. It's not great. I guess we could get Dancing Flame here, maybe? Okay, if we get Flame Crash, we get Dancing Flame. Okay, sure, why not? We'll just keep on going with the Roaring Blaze nonsense. Let's do it. Let's do it. Flame Crash it is. There you go. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what missions we have. Boss, you're here. Mr. Rexing, what's the matter? If there's nothing too important to take care of, may I leave the office a little earlier today? Okay. It's nothing serious. Yeah, I'll check the mission control panel. Okay, so sure, why not? Let's do a story thing. I mean, it'll get us leveled up a little bit. Right now, I'm kind of worried. Yeah, basically, we just have this to do. I mean, I'd like to do that unloading block all over again because... Ow. That hurt last time. Let's take a little bit of a break. Let's let's level up a little bit and get better at it. Maybe we can go in and do these again if we need to. Alright. Alright, Hexing, got your day off. Mr. Hexing, we will deal with the rest of the work today. I'll see you tomorrow, boss. Alright, see you tomorrow. Hexing left. And we're gonna follow him. Alright. Bury the Pass at the Outskirt Road Auto Repair Shop. Apparently way off in the outskirts. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess you can barely see the city off in the distance. Way over the hill. Way out there. So technically, I guess it's still within city limits because that was the Valhalla sign. That's a cool symbol for a city. I like that. Nine Dragon Gang, criminal organization that existed before the World War, strongly influences the political and financial world of today's Eastern Alliance. The main businesses of the Nine Dragon Gang are protection fees, private transport, gambling, and smuggling. It is strictly it strictly prohibits prostitution, robbery, kidnapping, and fraud. Well, at least they have their lines. I mean, no kidnapping is a hell of a line to draw there for a gang, but you know, they've got their principles. I I can I can get behind that. This type of management, the Nine Dragon Gang, prevents friction among low-level members. And allowed for an amicable relationship with the influential figures of the political and financial world who wanted expedient profit. However, in order to maintain this connection, they had to solve the conflicts among the other crime organizations and their top brass. And a well-rounded, powerful leader was essential to maintaining relations with the bureaucrats and politicians. Alright, so who'd they get? I mean, it obviously isn't hexing. Time never stops. Three months left, is it? It's been nine months since he left the Fortress of Suffering to find the friends he had spent his childhood with. And four months since he joined Peace of the Universe because of Ray's request to stop Carter. Guess I have no choice. Where do you get the car? I mean, maybe he owns it. Oh, hey, Kylie. What are you thinking so deeply about? Do you buy that car? Buy, borrowed, accidentally stole. I borrowed it. What? Didn't you steal it? I guess the way you think never changes. Yeah, there are things that don't change. But have you changed a lot? It just seems that way. Four years ago. Okay, we keep coming back to this night. So it's tomorrow. Why do you show such mercy to me? Mercy? If you think of it like that, then I guess it is. Is this just some petty whim of yours? Who cares? This will be the last time we see each other anyway. Okay, we've already seen this part of the conversation. Let's move past this. You can change your destiny. I hope that our relationship won't be like this the next time we meet. That's impossible. You think your fate's been sealed? I don't believe in fate. What can't be changed is the hatred I have towards you guys. I will never forgive you guys. It would be cool if you could relieve the anger you feel towards someone just by cursing them. But it's all meaningless. Moment you can't avoid. Just wait for a sec. I have to finish this. 
So it has started. Yeah. It'll probably be announced any day now. I called you just in case, so don't worry about it too much. Only you know my situation in this town. Is that true? Not really. There are a few others, but they have their own business. You thought that I was the least busy among them. I just thought that you'd come if I called you. Can't live without owing someone. Don't worry, I'm in the choice to live like this. No regrets. Okay, white dragon gang, unwanting farewell. I want to go too. No, Kyler, you have to stay in this place. No, I'll go too. How many times have I said no? No means no. Miss Kylie, I'm Long Quan, who will be serving you from today on. I will look after you until they come back. When are you coming back? When you become the leader of the Nine Dragon Gang. I don't want to be that. And we shall never see each other again for the rest of our lives. And sure enough, we have never seen... We haven't seen them yet, I guess. Stop it, Asuka. Looks like Kylie's having a hard time. We'll stay for a couple more days. No, we're leaving today. Kylie should accept her role. We come back when I become the boss? Yes, when you become the boss. Oh, so Kylie's the liaison? Long Quan, this was a mistake. Show some mercy. No, I can't. Stepped all over the go board. Show some mercy and let's keep going. No, I can't. My hand slipped by accident. There is no accident when you make a choice. That choice is a result of your skill, my lady. You just have to show mercy for once. You're a succession candidate for the leader of the group. You should know the importance of making a decision. I know it. I already do. Let's play one more time. No, my lady. This was the last for today. If she's going to step all over the board, I'm kind of with that. Long Quan? Yes, my lady? Do you think my mom abandoned me? That's a useless thought. Madame Asa Asuka truly loves you. I can barely remember her face. She calls every week and writes letters, too. And you have a picture of her in your drawer. You check my personal belongings? Certainly not, my lady. I just know because you tend to look at it when you're having a hard time. Do you know you're, you are a coward? There are many talented people in the group, so why are you teaching me? It is because I am talented. Is that a joke? I just told you the truth. Boring, those scoldings, you can't even read a person's mind. I lost this round, madam. Your skills have gotten much better, my lady. Well, I would hope for so after like four years of doing nothing but playing Go. That's obvious. Eighteen years old, end of everything. Congratulations on entering the National University of Valhalla in the first place. The honor is yours. Experience a lot and have a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for understanding why I won't back down. My objective was to raise you so you would become qualified to be a candidate to the successor of the group. There is nothing more for me to teach you, my lady. And I will resign from being in charge of your education from today. I will now focus on managing branches as representative for you and Madame Asuka. Alright, I'll count on you. Well done, my lady. Yeah, you too. So, everyone, everything's just getting ready for her to join the Nine Dragons again? Why are you asking for trouble? Yeah, why is that? Don't you have something that you want to do? Nothing really at this point. Seems that you wanted to try many things since you were young. Yeah, every moment counts. Now that's like you. After a month after Hexing left, did I hear it wrong? Don't make me say it twice. My decision won't change. You are the direct descendant of the group. That burden will put pressure on your future. I know that very well already. Even if it seems like meaningless resistance, my will is to leave this place. I'll leave the work of the branch to you, so please take care. I got it. It's okay, now Long Quan's the leader of the group. Got her floating Rubik's Cubes. 
Oh my god, it's Kylie! Didn't she say that she was going to quit school last semester? Kylie had gone back home after applying for a leave of absence to prepare for the upcoming competition among the nine Dragon Gang successors. However, meeting a boy from Alley at her house changed Kylie's mind. Kylie returned to school after throwing off the big burden of the Nine Dragon Gang. She no longer hesitated to make her own decisions in life. So she is Kylie. Yeah, she already acquired the National Meister Certificate. Her talent is going to be essential for our lab. Ask her to join our next project. Got it. The next is the World Meister Competition, or... Huh? Kylie, who had stayed in touch with her, or only her mother over the years, receives an email from a familiar name. Lady, this is Rio. I received the carp's jacket today. Even after I got the opportunity to live a new life by leaving the organization, thanks to you. I'm sorry this has to happen. But I, Rio Rizuki, will always serve you. Those old men, they really are stubborn. A carp that will be able to compete with a direct descendant carp for the position of boss. This position was granted to the one who most assisted the direct descendant. Knowing this, Kylie expelled her longtime assistant, Rio, so that she wouldn't be left with her burdens after she left the organization. This is really annoying. P.S. I opened a new sushi house with Shotaro recently. Please come by if you have a chance to visit Yurgisil District. Your devoted descendant, Rio. Okay. There's a sushi place. Ayube, you were great today. Thanks to our leader. Oh, hey, that's Kate from the troubleshooting corporation that Albus interned at. Our leader must have left you this mission because she trusted you. Hmm, is that so? Then I should work harder. All right, let's go for it, Shitaro. One more sake here. Got it, Mr. Gobi. Wait for a second. This place is booming. I'm very sorry. It's noisier than usual today. It's all right. I'll shop for like this. Looks like you've settled down. That's a good thing. Thank you. Use that jacket as an interior decoration for the shop. Yep, right over here. The old guys will be pissed off when they see this. The cloth is useless anyway. It's better to use it this way rather than just leaving it together dust in the closet. You changed them too. In a good way. Here's your favorite fatty tuna. Congratulations on your college graduation, my lady. Congratulations on your new sushi house opening too. Let's do our best, Rio. Nice of her to show up and be there for the opening, though. What does this have to do with why Hexing's here, though? You're going to stay here for the entire day? We'll take some time to finish up the work here. The convenience store is open at the gas station, so go there. I'll go there as soon as work is done. It's Kylie. Oh, Shandian. I thought we arrested this guy, or at least killed him or something. How have you been over the years? See one of your companions? Could you please give us a moment? This guy is fine. That's not good, Miss Kylie. Don't mess with me, Shandian. Just do what you're supposed to do. Alright, then I'll tell you about the rules of the Game of Dragons first. The Game of Dragons is a competition designed to elect one successor candidate. Nine Dragon Gang usually prohibits conflicts between its group members, but allows any means and methods during this period. I came by to tell you that the 10th carp was decided on last week, and therefore the Game of Dragons has started today. Got it. And I've received this from Madame Asuka to give to you. My mother? You've done well until now. Okay, that's not allowed. Hexing is in a rage state. Don't worry, Hexing. Kylie's in peace and patience. Doesn't matter if it's you, lady. I aim for the moment we were off guard. Shandian, it's weird in the first place for an assassin like you to deliver something to me. And I have nothing to be sorry about when you already knew that. You are not suited to be the boss of the organization, my lady, so please die. Do it if you can. Bowsy! Next thing, I'll leave that guy to you. He's also in phase state. I can deal with the two of them. Okay, he's excited and concentrated, so possibly be able to do this more easily, hopefully. There's only the two of them. This seems doable. Well, they didn't bring... Oh, shit. This guy's got a huge amount of HP. He's also level 36. This guy would be easier to take out. Kylie wants me to take this guy, though. So I guess we'll do that. 
Oh, Vaccine doesn't have any healing potions. Oh, damn it. Did I not restock? I meant to restock. Shoot. So we can't heal Kylie either. Um, how about this? Go back here and then do a cone attack. That might hit both of them. It does hit both. Well, maybe. The other guy's behind some hard cover, so it's hard to tell. But we'll try. He dodged it. Not surprising. Okay, somehow we got... Oh, the thing exploded. I didn't know that was gonna... Yeah, okay, I should have realized. Alright, Kylie, go take Shandy on here. Uh, we need to flank him here if we can do it. He's gonna try to stab us a bunch, so maybe we need to focus on this guy over here. She has a health potion, at least. Tempted to have her drink it, but she has no debuffs. Come over here. And attack this guy. Every little bit helps. He's berserk. Oh, we actually got to her. Although he didn't got, wasn't able to attack her, though. He walks back over, and good so dodges there. Running, he is burning, but so are we. Kylie... 75 on him, 55 on him. So I guess we just keep on going for this guy. Hit him hard. That's not too bad. Now he's bleeding. Okay, that's a stab. That hurts a lot. Okay, but now that Shandian's out in the open... That was really good. Okay, that hurts. Oh, we got stunned from it, too. That's too bad. We need to get out of there. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not stunned. All right, come over here. Still burning, unfortunately, but there's only so much we can do about that. Nice. Okay, so he's out. Now he's got the big guy. So you should heal yourself up, Kylie. Okay, and then this guy is just melee. So we should be able to just hurt him, hopefully. Ah, he dodged it. Alright, it's fine. Exing, go for it. He blocked that one, that's unfortunate. He's just gonna be a big old troublemaker, isn't he? Ah, uh, we're out of vigor. Can't do much. Ice grenades tempting. Ah, uh, sure, what the hell. Ice grenade him. Not gonna do much, but it'll do something. Okay. We'll hopefully slow him down a bit, though not by much. Alright, so get your vigor back. Unless he's bleeding. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, she dodged it. Thank goodness. He's still burning. Can you hit him from here? You can hit the EV charger. Don't, don't do that. I'm back over this way. And shoot him now. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. He is bleeding too, that he might be down. You know, we'll just take him out right here. He blocked it. Okay, he's near a little berserk, but the bleed totally took him out. Alright, that was pretty good. We did it. Huzzah. Really not an easy opponent to fight, my lady. I have lost. Do whatever you want to do. This is a part of the ritual to pass the test anyway. Go away. You are generous, my lady. And I'll see you next time. I'll be expecting you to become the leader of the organization. Farewell. You just let the man who tried to kill you get away so easily. Nothing would change by taking my anger out on a guy who's just doing what the gang tells him to do. Somebody else would have done this if it wasn't him. You experience this every day? No way. This is just part of the process of electing the next leader. The game ends when the remaining candidates approve of just one candidate to be the leader. I mean, that's not exactly an election. You should definitely think about your words there, but okay. The remaining candidates. And when you become the boss, be the last one to survive? Yeah. But if I wanted to be the boss, then I wouldn't be here. I'd be raising my forces back at the head house. Thank you for coming today. Have you ever considered Peace of the Universe? It's a great team. It looks fun. 
Won't you join us? I'll persuade the boss. You're really in a hurry, aren't you? I won't deny it. I've got things to do, but I don't have enough time. As you saw today, I'll be a burden to you guys if I join the team. I don't mind. I just want to do what I'm supposed to do. Uh, you should talk to Albus about it first. But she would be a good member, I think. I knew you were seeking your destiny, but that's a surprise. That's a misconception. Did you come here today for this and not for me? What if I say no? And I've already refused a suggestion from Albus several times. I'm just offering while I'm here, and it's convenient. Oh, she's totally going to join, isn't she? Mr. Rexing? Boss, did you employ the engineer that you talked about last time? No, the engineer was Miss Kylie, but she refused, so... Then I'll bring her to our team. Pardon? Oh, wow, but sorry for changing my mind. Miss Kylie? Is the deal that you mentioned last time still valid? I mean, say yes, say yes. I will join the team if you just pay the right amount. Oh, God, it's like, it'll be like a thousand bill. Of course, we really welcome you. All right, then. I'll offer my services to you. Oh, cool. We have Kylie on the team. Sure. Of course, we got to get her leveled up because she's only level 25. She's 10 levels below. That's going to be a little rough. Um, We can get her up, but that's going to be tough. We're going to have to figure out how to get her up to a proper level. Hmm. So we give her yearning as a support skill, right? That'll raise her experience up. We'll see if there's anything else we can do in that vein. All right, so Kylie. Oh, no, it's the right. Welcome. Okay, hello. Long time no see, Bruce. Why are you here? I'm working with Albus from now on. We thought things through. Why did she come here a little earlier? Because my desire to come here vanished every time I thought of you. Oh, dear. Do we have to be close to each other at work? You'll just have to do your job well. That attitude of yours hasn't changed. Uh, customers, do you mind talking outside if you think the conversation will take any longer? That's fine. There's nothing more to talk about. And the rest of the team is waiting for us at the office. Hurry up. Okay. Go to the office. I'm sure... Oh, let's get the email first. Yep, Shandi undefeated yet again, so we get rewarded yet again. Thank you. Alright, go to the back of the office. And introduce Kylie to the team. Hey, everyone. Kylie, you come. Yeah, we'll be seeing each other more now. These are my presents. I told you all to stop by my workshop, but you didn't, so I brought them here. Oh. Okay, got a fire main charm. Kylie, we welcome you. Yes, Anne, I'll be seeing you more often, too. Here, this is your present. Whoa. That's awesome. I hope that'll be a help since you have a hard time on site. Thank you. Mud and main charm. Okay, so we have to basically change the charms for everyone here. Thanks for coming, Kylie. Yeah, how you been doing? Doing fine these days. This one's yours. It's cool. It's still in development, so it may malfunction sometimes. So don't use it if the situation is too dangerous. Thanks, I'll use it well. An acceleration propeller. All right. Kylie, how about mine? Ah. Huh? Where's mine? Is it really? Ha. Ah. My only me. I did well for you. All right. Here's science. And he was tearing up there. Lightning main charm. Miss Kylie, you didn't have to bring that many. I'm sorry, but that's all. I just bought the items that they requested when they stopped by my workshop. Thank you for your care. Sorry for rejecting your offer until recently. No, it's alright. We're just thankful you've joined our team. We really need a lot of help from you. Thanks for saying that. Alright, and for your information, you can add another jurisdiction district. Huh? I have a real troubleshooter certificate. What? Kylie was a troubleshooter? Really? Well, I mean, it makes sense. He was working with the police, like, every time we saw her. Kylie has both a master certificate and a troubleshooter certificate. Does she have more? You taking out your old license, Kylie? Yeah, I just ended up getting it at some point. I never thought I would use it again. Kylie, did you like being a Meister more than a troubleshooter? Didn't really think much about it. I did this and that during my trouble my college years, and a troubleshooter apprenticeship was one of those things. 
It was fun, but there was a nasty guy at the field practice, so I just passed the test and that was it. Anyway, the certificate was just laying around, so I hope that now it'll be able to help you guys a little. Be a great help. Ms. Kyler, really thank you for joining us. Okay. So we have... Gosh, she brought a bunch of manuals and bunch. Let's see what her contract is. We have to see that anyway. Alright, Kylie. Hello there. Okay, so. Assistant protocol. It's number of usage or ability by two. That's pretty good. I like that. Increases the six chance of your hacking protocol by 20. Ooh. Oh, she might be able to hack the, uh, the robots. Huh. Okay. Possibilities. Fight against fate. During the mission, you have one chance to cancel the fatal damage to you out of action and gain luck. I do like luck. Luck is pretty cool. So it stops her, or theoretically, you have a chance to not get taken out. Hmm. I mean, I really like assistant protocol, so it's just generally useful. But fight against fate would help us because it seems like our healers just get knocked down. Ray's been knocked down how many times? Anne's been knocked down so many times. I mean, she's not exactly a healer, but she can heal. She is a good support. Yeah, let's do fight against fate. And let's pay them every seven missions because we're doing for everybody. 210 wages, huh? A little expensive, but we can do it. We got tons of cash right now. We're good. Okay, back to back relationship has been activated. Let's see if she has any. I don't think she'll have any synergies with anybody. It's a little early. She already knows hexing, but it's more of a. It's more of a nothing, really. I used the garage, Don. I was already rented the garage. Oh, really? I keep the noise down during opening hours. Still very straight. You know me well. Be sure to work quietly or work outside of opening hours. All right, all right. What work are you trying to do with the garage? And why should I tell you that? I hope that you use the room more carefully since I'll bring my little ones here later. Okay. She hasn't done it yet, though. We go to the warehouse. It's been a while since I last came to this workshop. Kylie looked around, and the object that caught Kylie's eyes was... This was the workbench that I used before. Don, he collected money from me to dispose of this table. Such a frugal man. Okay, so we install the machine manufacturing structure, I'm guessing. Small traces at the workbench. I don't know who used this, but somebody used it well. It would be enough for me to work on it, but just organize a little. Okay, machine tabs now act activated. There's a whole big another section here. Okay, so machine crafting. In a total of six parts to manufacture a machine. Weapon system, power unit, some armor, propulsion, a sensor, and a fuel tank. A lot of pieces. I have some basic parts to be made in a useful drone for now if you don't really mind the performance. Now manufacturing a machine that Kylie can summon. Ooh. We choose the machine SP gauge and OS mastery in the parts composition progress is 100% with the chosen parts, and the machine manufacturing button will be enabled. Machine SP gauge cannot be changed after manufacturing the machine, but OS mastery is in part equipment can be changed later. Also be sure to note that if you change the machine's equipment, the previous equipment will be dismantled and return as materials. Manufacture the parts of the machine using the machine tab, and then manufacturing and change the equipment using change the machine. I recommend you change the, consider the machine's purpose when manufacturing it since the performance of the machine varies depending on which parts you use to build it. Not only should you consider performance of the machine itself, okay, there's a lot of information here. Output figure exists for machines like humans and beasts have training points. All machines can add modules according to the maximum output of the machine. Maximum output basically increases from the data accumula accumulation of the OS. You may also increase the maximum output through machine parts, so be aware of that. Very complicated. I'll be the one manufacturing the machines anyway, so you just have to tell me what its purpose will be. I see. Okay, so we got machine parts from Kylie. 
Looks like we also have other stuff in here. So like a freezing laser, flamethrower, and assault rifle. Uh, let's go for assault rifle first because it's a little lighter. Go for the reinforced engine. Titanium armor gives more HP. Pro oh, no, the black iron does, definitely. Yeah, let's go for armor, sure. And they're both 10. It's just a matter of fuel consumption. Uh, okay, so this one's faster, which is why it has higher fuel consumption. Um, we won't need to be that fast. Speed stick should be fine. There's a sensor there. Okay, so everything has a fuel consumption. It's mostly about their sight, I guess. Yeah, 11 sight versus 12. It's not that much difference. So we'll just go with the lower powered one. And we want the biggest fuel tank we could possibly hold right now. Okay. We filled everything, so we're allowed... It's just under the weight limit, so we're good there. Yeah, we can fill up with fuel. We can shoot. Uh, we can select our frame. We can make it a cute little red number. I kind of like the green one. The red with racing stripes is pretty good, too. I mean, it's called an incineration drone, but it's an assault rifle, so why would it be called that? <laughs> I can't change the name, so I guess we'll just go with this. Sure, why not? Okay, cool. So now she can summon this thing. Okay, so you can manage your manufacturing machines, so machine list the little right part of the screen. Uh, just heard Albus whisk his thing, but I don't see him. Oh, so now we have over here, maybe. Yep, robot list. Okay. Right now we just have the one. Oh, we can get masteries and abilities for these guys. Okay. And they level up, too. Alright, then. He has 37 slots for this? Holy fuzzy cats. Oh, we got nothing, though. We have no modules whatsoever. Uh, we can build some fire resistant modules at the very least. Or not. These are understand modules being masteries for machines, but while masteries can be learned from experience, modules are just programs. It's different because they're machine parts. I can manufacture almost any module if I have sufficient materials. But we don't have enough flame elements. Uh, we might be able to go craft it. Uh, hold on. So we have one, but what do we need? We need... Items are registered as fixed material, material or required to research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same as masteries. I get that. All items and modules for research materials will be consumed. Of course they will. Okay, so this flame element we need... We need to go back to the workshop... And build a flame element. Hold on, back here. Okay, so I need the flame element, but I can't get it from here. I've got to go to the workbench and try to get the flame element from here. Uh, materials. Flame element. Oh, we can't make any. We need flame fragments. Can't make any of those. We need flame dust. And flame dust isn't on the list. We need to get flame dust from breaking down things, probably. Can we get flame dust here? Nope. No flame dust at all. Um, okay, we might get it from here. We just need to look at what we need to get. There, we might get flame dust from this. Okay, we got two from it. That's not bad. Um, I'm a flame here. Yeah, we get flame fragments here. Go ahead and break them all down. What the hell? With a flame fragment, then we get flame dust, and then we'll be able to get a higher chance of getting the flame dust here. 
There we go. Okay, so now we go back over here. This. We get the flame element. We need three of these. Still can't build them. I need flame fragments. Okay, I can build flame fragments. Build those. And an element. I can only build two of them? Let's make sure that's right. Hold on. I need flame elements. Okay. Making sure. I need three of them, though. I don't quite have enough, but I at least build the two. Oh, I can build one more here, but that's not going to be quite enough, is it? Oh, there we go. That'll totally do it. That'll totally do it. Okay, so I got... I think I did... No, I did... No, no, that's right. That's right. That's right. I think... Now, if I go over to here, can I... Oh, these are attack booster systems. Oh, cool. Okay, so these we don't have... If we look craftable only, we can do a couple of high-end stuff. Alright, but not nearly as many of the possible options there are. Like, the industrial fuel tank would be really good. We need a big oil sack. Which isn't even on the list. Not even on the list. So yeah, we need to find a big oil sack from somewhere else, I guess. Okay, so go back over here. And now we can build this. Okay, so... Crafting. So we got fire resistance. Go back over to the robot. And unfortunately on his mastery board, we can only do the one thing. But hey, it's progress. Just we have fire resistance. That's something. We'll get more of these later, I'm sure. What, your personal mastery? No, we can't do anything there. Okay. I mean, it's a robot. What, you expect it to have, like, its own personality and stuff? I mean, I know it's anime, but it's not that anime. Drone realignments. Okay, we're not going to worry about that yet. Modify the machine to modify its machine part structures. It's good to know. Oh, we can rename it. Yeah, it's not an incineration drone. Um, it's um, obviously HK. Uh, obviously not HK-47, because that's a much more advanced drone. Uh, this is HK number uh, 22. Alright. Hey, HK-22. It still says incineration drone up there. But at least the name is right here. So that's the most important thing. And now Kylie's part of our team. Let's look at her mastery board here. Okay, she's got large bottom and top pocket. That's okay, I guess. But really, we want better things than there. Like lottery. Lottery's good. We like lottery. Lottery's good for everybody. We can totally make that too, so let's do that. Thermodynamics. Oh, large bottom, large chopper used for the expert, maybe. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so we want to keep those. Skilled military strategist, we have no idea. Thermodynamics. Grant summon robot or stolen robot energy optimization AI. Fuel need decreases by 25%. That's pretty good. Maybe we can build this. We need a professional book. All right. What do I need for a professional book? Professional book. There we go. All right. That's easy to do. And go back. Remote dynamics again. There we go. All right. Uh, sure. Let's get rid of... We already have Eternal Flame already on people we care about, so that's fine. Sharp teeth. There you go. Okay, so now you have thermodynamics. There you go. Now, do we want to get rid of any of these? And we're going to do a target who is out of combat state or a sleep state debuff increases by 100%. That's not that useful. 
Yeah, not great. Let's not equip that. Gotta be a better attack we can do with you. I mean, for Stallman, okay. Not great. Principal Ist. Here's a support slot. So basically, you trade an attack for a support slot. That's a little tempting, but not, not yet. Not yet. Critical hit chance up. Take damage, you approach the target and gain frenzy. Not good for her, I think. Heavy strike increases your attack damage. That's not horrible. More training points. For HP by 20% damage talks to a bleeding type. She doesn't cause bleed, though. Let's go heavy strike for now. Okay. Then chain tactics is okay. Position of advantage. Under still stance, elevated position state. So putting her high up. Really, we want that on Gazelle more than anybody else. Kylie is not that good with it, I think. Yeah, we har we're hardly ever in that elevated position. We'd have to go and get some. I'm not wild about that. There's gotta be a better thing we can do just for support stuff. Yeah, see, like educational books. That would be totally good. Or fluid dynamics. Hitting a target type increases the action time by 10. Hitting a machine type further increases the action time by 20. That'd be pretty good. And then grants a summon robot. That'd be pretty nice for fluid dynamics. Cover the limit of each master group by 1. Tempting. Some training points available by 3. Firing master by 50%. That's right. Don't we want... We actually want to get her, like, yearning or something here. Yeah. Get her to catch up a little bit on the on the XP. She's level 25. We gotta get her way up here. But fluid dynamics is kind of what I'm going for, I think. Optimism is okay. Professional book. You're definitely the lesser one here, so supporter is not good. But we should put supporter on somebody else, like maybe Albus. Okay, you've already got your name. Ink fluid dynamics. To do that, though, we got to get a position of advantage, which I'm totally okay with. And we got to build fluid dynamics. Let's see if we can build it first. Need another professional book. We can do that. Uh, sorry, I need to actually choose everything and then go for it. That's easy. Uh, I'll just make sure I'm getting the right one. So, blue dynamics there. All right. Okay. Right, so Fluid Dynamics is ready. We just give it a position of advantage. And do this one instead. There. Lightning Reflex is good. We want that. These we probably want to drop out, but I don't know if we want to trade those out just yet. Lightly Decline. Not great. One who walks on water. Increase dodge chance by 20% we're standing in water. Interesting. Kind of weird for her, but kind of cool. Right, Spiderweb stunts if we're fighting the issues. I don't really care about that. Oh, yeah. You have a chance to revive 25% of your HP. Tempting. Resistance. Yeah, there's nothing really great here. Impulse Fields isn't bad, so she didn't get one shot. Other than that, there's not any great defenses in here. There's a bunch of these. If you get out of action, you have a chance to revive. Uh, Counterattack. You don't really have much in the way of a melee attack, so I don't think that's good for you. Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and hang this. Just hang on to what we have right now. We just need to get her leveled up. So let's go the support master we want to get on like Albus or somebody. I gotta make sure I don't know what that is again. Isn't it supporter? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get Albus, Supporter, or Hexing, or somebody. Somebody high level. Because then it'll be good for everybody. I would have to give her to, like, Toad Skin or something. Or Fair Wind. I really like Fair Wind, but I think I like the Toad Skin better. So we'll go ahead and get rid of Fair Wind. And then we'll get Supporter here. Uh, we can't get Supporter? Maybe he can't do it. There it is. Oh, we don't own it. Haha. -ha. We can make it, though. We can totally make it. We need Yearning. That should be easy to get. All the way at the end. Come on. There we go. We need Adventurer for that. All the way at the beginning. Adventurer. Adventurer. There we go. Okay, so get Adventurer here. Make sure it's that. All the way at the end, we'll go to get Yearning. Don't... Well, we can trade for Fair Winnings. We have four of them. I'm okay with that. Okay. Just in case we want to get Fair Wind back, is all I'm worried about. Okay, then we go up to Supporter. And there we go. Uh, get a double target out. That's enough. I probably should have had this earlier. This would have helped everyone level up a little bit better. There you go. Okay. Great. So now we just got to get Kylie, like, trained up somehow, and that's going to be interesting. Irene, what do you have for your masteries? Do you have anything I want to get rid of? If we can get you a new ability mastery, that'd be great. I guess we can get Bruise. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad. We can use the record design to quickly swap. You're right. Totally right. Totally do that. Uh, so sure. Bruise. It's not great. What about any of your supports? Eternal Flame. It's not bad. It's workable. Um, it wouldn't get us... I mean, really, I'm kind of... I was saving it for a three, it looked like. But I don't know what. <sighs> Definitely don't want that. Chain Tactics is okay. Hunting Dog. I can target with the most HP loss and line of sight increases to up for 25%. It's okay. Wash your breakdowns, okay. Returning the enemy's force. Your counterattack ends the following effects. Uh, damage done by counterattack increases by 30%, or if you manage to block it, 50%. That's really good. I'm a fan of this one. Let's do this. We need to build veteran. Oh, double click the mastery. You're totally right. It's right there. We need tough spirit. Okay, so build tough spirit there. And then we have veteran available, so we'll do that. And I've lost it again. Uh, our friend name is Force. There we go. So now we got both of those. Uh, sure, get rid of Bone Chili. I'm okay with that. Victory, and just one more. Large Bone Pocket, we have lots of this. Okay. Uh, we need just one SP gone or for that to actually work, though. So... I guess we get rid of Cauterize for right now. It's only temporary. We can always bring it back. I do like that it removes all debuffs from her, though, so I don't want to get rid of it. Get rid of my dream is to be our hero. It does have a great aura for everybody, though. I don't want to get rid of Inner Flame because being immune to fire is really nice. Uh, if we get rid of Lottery, does that hurt anything? It does not hurt anything to get rid of Lottery. It's not my favorite, but that's what we're going to do. Because we don't, we're not maxed out on any of these, so we're okay. Let's get rid of Lottery. And then we can do Return to the Enemy's Force. And there you go. Okay. A little bit of juggling, but it totally worked out. And then Albus, with your Mastery Board, you got anything good for me here? Uh, you already have everything in Ability Mastery that I think we want. I mean, the Magic, magic Theory might be okay. 
Ah, uh, sure, why not? Let's do magic theory. Craft this. New strategist. Easy to build. Should be able to go back to the listing, which I don't see now. Magic theory. There we go. The records totally helped out. You're right. It's right up there. Don't know why I didn't see that before. Okay, so... One more of those. Uh, we need... Yeah, that'll do. Yep. Magic theory. Like so. Okay. We want to level up. Uh, we could look and see what Cyan has, but my guess is it's not going to be much. Yeah, he's basically full up on everything. Until he gets leveled up, we can't really use these TP. We could trade something like large top pocket or something. Um, but I don't know what we trade it for. We already have electric shock. We already have medical reactor. We already have magic theory. We already have recharge. Like, we trade it for lottery. That's not much of a trade. Uh, yeah, not too wild about any of these trades, actually. I think we're okay. And we could trade one of these if there's an electric attack we could go for. Lightning Magician. Critical hit chance. It's okay. Great Wizard. Actually, some Vigor increases by it. That's actually quite good. Yeah, we could trade, like, Magical Sense for that, maybe? Or optimism? Oh, no, we actually have to be Optimism plus Great Wizard might be a good combo right there. Yeah, so I like the chance for stuns. I think we'll get rid of Tactical Sense. And we want Great Wizard. So how do we build Great Wizard? Just with Mage and a couple of nonsense things. We can totally do that. And... Great Wizard. Built it already. Oh, it's a basic... I'm a dingus. I thought it was support. Well, I have basic selected and everything. Um, actually, that's a great trade. Go from mage to great wizard. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Okay, we still have two TP left, though. Let's see if we can actually get something inside support, which is what I meant to look at. Electric Pulse. That sounds good. Lightning SP. Grand okay, that's not bad. That's, that's good. I like it. Is there anything else? My ESP increases by 10% per one adversary possessing ESP power within a radius of four tiles. It's not very large of a radius. If it was within line of sight, I would totally do it, but otherwise it's not that great. Damage dealt by ESP attack ability decreases 5% for every one current applied elementalist black mage mastery. Which is not a lot of them, so maybe not that good. Enemies adjacent, you randomly responsive attack one of them. Hmm, okay. I get it. Not wild about it, but maybe. You already have Thunderbolt, so that's not gonna work. Oh, making you immune to poison would be kind of cool. What about Sage? Uh huh. For every one currently applied mastery, you get a random bonus, which is actually kind of cool. Unfortunately, it takes three TP, and I only have two available. So I would have to get rid of, like, Optimism, which I think works really well with Great Wizard, so I'd rather not. And I really like Thunderbolt as well. Shoot. No, no, it wouldn't work. We'd have to wait for another TP available, I think. I'm going to try to remember to get Sage, because I think that might be our best bet. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and get Toadskin. Then we could always drop Toadskin later. Catch adjacent tiles. A chance to increase it by 15%? Sure, especially with Flash. Yeah, okay. That, that has potential to work out for us, maybe. We'll, we'll try it. Okay. And Ray, I doubt you're going to have anything good here. Oh, you know, what we don't have is, um, we can actually use, no, not the potions, sorry. Charms. 
He has the acceleration propeller. Which lets her go move distance. You know, we're not really using the grenades all that much. I'm okay with trading these out for the charms instead. Why not? So we got her one. I think Anne has one. And Irene, right? We should definitely do that as well. One TP. Is it going to be worth it for anything? I mean, really, it's, I'd, be, I'd rather build one of these. Boost the cooldown of your ability by one. Hmm. Tempting. Tempting. That's an ability. I would have to get rid of one of our abilities, which I'm not wild about. Oh, I want the... That's right. We want to penetrate the sky here. Oh, we don't know what this is yet. Okay, we'll hold off. I want this one. Um, we can build it later. Oh, but do we have the ability to... Oh, we can totally build it, probably. This is an easy build. Go back to applicable knowledge. The same thing here. Okay, just so we have it available for us later. There. Easy build. No worries. Okay, so that's waiting for us now. Let's go to Anne and make sure she's got her new thing attached. Uh, which is the... Red main? Yeah, Earth ability. That's it. That's totally her. Okay, so Mudbane Charm. There you go. I'm guessing Irene has one as well. She's already got her bull mark. I do like, but this will be the Fire Main Charm. More Fire HP. Okay, sure. I think there was one more. Race already got hers. Kind of surprised Kylie doesn't have one. Oh, we have a thing here. With new abilities, new classes as well. She's already an engineer. We can make her a hacker instead. I think ha think engineer is right. Yeah, basically reduce her dodge chance whenever you fight a machine. I'm okay with that. Hacker would be. It's marked target the closest enemy detected. Oh, I kind of like this. Huh. Search across the selected area detects hidden enemies. Oh, hell yeah. Don't get me wrong. I like you an engineer, but I might like you more as a hacker. Okay, change your class. Oh, but it changes the mastery board. Um, fine. Because you lost those two. God damn it. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, so I need to go back to where Master worked. We just finished doing. Alright. Get that in. Um, get that in. We don't actually have an SP ability yet, which is too bad, but that's okay. At least it makes it so those are available. That'll be fun. Okay, back to your mastery board, because apparently we're not done with that yet. Yeah, but it changed changed some things. So, that's my bad. Should have realized. Okay, so, abilities? Now that we can still do applicable knowledge, I'm totally okay with. Um, we can get algorithm from later, maybe. Okay. We still have three TP to work with here. Let's see what else we got. Um, abstraction. Okay, maybe. Algorithm here. Scholar and Hacker Mastery, which we don't really have a lot of. Like, what knowledge we already have? Data structure? Process for one use is protocol ability, okay. Hmm, educational book's a little tempting. And here we have a lot of good things, which actually might be helpful. Ah, uh, sure. Great Scholar, maybe? We just have to build it. 
A lot of good things in here. Okay, she still is yearning, so that's good at least. Don't have to worry about that. Smoke screen movements. Bonus is still maintained for two turns after you leave it. That's kind of hilarious. Shoot. Um, standing in water one's really weird and kind of interesting. Okay, you as a supporter doesn't work. Or victory? She might be putting enemies out of action. It could happen. Any good attack masteries? Distribute your process, and that's about it. Advanced information? Oh, okay. So we've been a we've been gathering information on these guys the entire time. It's nice if that actually has an effect. Yeah, okay. I mean, it'd be nice if everybody got that effect, but this actually sounds kind of cool. Let's get informant. We can build this really easily uh, with that. And then do this. Okay. That'll be fun. So two TP we can use here, and we can do that with basically anything. For Storm, it's not going to work. Let's do get a support mastery, maybe. So based on scholar and hacker masters, we have at least two now. The more we get, the better off we're going to be. I mean, it's only three percent increase, but it's still not terrible. We build an educational book. Or professional book. So assuming they're all class masteries, then it's actually... Some of these are just being human. Yeah, like common. That one's scholar. That one's common. So really, it seems like we wouldn't get much bonus because these are not class-based. Yeah. One of the messages for early research, so we're like on the verge here. It's probably not professional book, it's probably um educational book. That'd be my guess. I can look it up though. Early bird. It is extreme speed, informant, advanced information, and applicable knowledge. So none of those things I was aware of. Never mind. Uh do we have extreme speed? Yeah, we do. Extreme speed right over here. Informant. Oh, we don't have informant. Uh, informant's not bad, I guess. Yeah, because then we get more masteries, theoretically. Okay, sure, why not? Why not? It helps everybody. Create a castle great breakthrough for that. Not sure it was worth it, but we'll do it. Okay, so now we get early bird as well. Yeah, so now we get engaging in battle with targets whose amount of acquired information is 100% brings about the following effects. This is all ability cooldowns by one. And of course we get more damage again, or more combat effectiveness, which I guess is not quite the same thing. Okay, that could work. That could totally work. We just need to make sure we know everything about them, which is not necessarily guaranteed. That'd be over here in the troublemaker list. And we know everything about, like, a Spoonish Gorilla, but the chances of actually fighting him again is probably not likely. Um, the Pyromatchers, I mean, any of the Spoonists, we've probably well done with. But hey, if we, like, ever fight an Ice Yasha again. Yeah, the problem is we don't know information about all of these guys as much as I would like to. Well, we just need to fight more people, then. That's really what it comes down to, is that, like, all these White Tigers, like, we fight a White Tiger Butcher again, we'll have... A good chance with Kylie anyway to uh, do more damage to him or debuff him more often. Or, and Hu Shang, we're apparently going to be fighting Hu Shang for quite a while longer. Same with Shandian. Both these guys, very annoying. All right. Oh, we still have a lot of people and a lot of things we have not seen yet. All right. Right now, though, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been. 
Troubleshooter, Abandoned Children. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe. Till we'll see you guys next time.